in this video we'll see how to evaluate the grain size uh, with Apex. So first open your file, then go to grain tab. Um, simply click on the grain detection once you have defined your grain tolerance angle. By default it's uh, 5 degrees. So just click. So the map uh, which uh, appears is the grain size map. So the grain are colored uh, by the by their size. So here you get the distribution of uh, your grain size. If you want to know more precisely the the, the distribution, go on statistic tab, distribution, and automatically you get the distribution of the map uh, we selected in the main uh, window. So here you have several options. So here it's grain size. Here you have several options. So like uh, area fraction, number fraction. So by default it's area fraction. If you click on number fraction, you have the distribution uh, uh, by number fraction. Um, so you can check, you can manage here different things like uh, the number of class, if you want more. Just 40, very draw. Okay. So the value of the histogram are uh, reported here. So to, to copy that in Excel, for instance, just Control A to select all. Control C, open Excel. And just pass. So here the sum, if you make the sum, it will be it will be not zero, not one, sorry, because it's the the area under the curve is equal to one. The integral is equal to one. So to get one, you have to multiply by the width of the of the class. So here the width is uh, 1.3 about. So just multiply this by 1.3. Okay, and you get one. You can ask to Atex to to give you directly the the probability. So just click here, and here if you make the sum now, if you make the sum here, you will get one immediately. Um, here you have the, the, the average value of the histogram, so 40, etc. So if you go back here, so the average gain size is uh, given here, so 40. Here is the average of the map, so here it's the average grain size uh, weighted by the surface, so it's the average of, the, of this histogram. Um, so if you want to know more precisely uh, which uh, the size of this grain, for example, or this grain, or this grain, you can just click um, here, and if you click on the grain, you will get the, the the average value of all the quantity you have select you have cal already calculated here in this uh, small caption. Click here, so you see the, the grain size here, 29 for this one. For this one is 52, and so on. So to cancel that, just unclick the button. If you want to know, uh, if you want to extract this value. Uh, the value for all grains, just click here, write output file. And you will get all this file 
in your uh, working directory. So let's just check. So the working directory is here. My data. So all the files are here. So you can check, for example, this one. Just open. And you get uh, for each grain, so grain one, grain two, the phase, the surface, the earlier angle, the size, the position of the gravity center, etc. etc. For all the quantity you have already calculated. So now, if you want to evaluate, for example, the aspect ratio of your grain. So there is a function for that, so just click here. Uh, to, to show you that, I will, I will select another uh, another data set. So elongated grain. So here we have uh, elongated grain about 45 degrees or something like that. So if you want to know uh, what are, what is the elongation and what is the angle of uh, inclination, just go on grain tab, click on the grain aspect ratio in, in uh, inclination, so just do that. So first the, the grain are detected. Then you obtain two, two maps. So aspect ratio map and uh, aspect angle. So here is the aspect ratio. So if you pass your mouse, you see that, uh, for example, this grain, the red one, it has an aspect ratio of uh, 5.4, which is indicated here, here, and so on. So you have also the distribution of the aspect ratio. So you can get also the angle, so here. So you see that there is a peak at about uh, a bit less than 40 uh, degrees. So the, the angle is given with respect to the, to the horizontal starting from, from the right, so like that. So if you click here, for example, you have all the information here about the reference system and so on. So here also you can um, Plot that uh, as a distribution, so go to distribution, so statistic distribution, and you get, so you get the same thing like here, but uh, in a better way. So just copy that to Excel to, to read row, for instance. Okay, that's it for, for this video. Thank you.